Hello everybody. This is day number two of my vlog or video blog, whatever you want to say. Yesterday I talked about um, me and my girlfriend's situation, uh, cheating on her and lying about it for six months. We had a breakthrough today, which I'll talk about later, but first. I want to put out a praise report. I'm going to have an organized show from now on. Um, first thing first, I've been looking for a job. Um, it's tough out here trying to find a job. And I'm still looking anyway. Uh, I turned in quite a few applications today, but I woke up this morning and I had a voicemail from another hotel that wants to have an interview with me. Um, I'm guessing I was not hired at the hotel that I applied at, but they passed my application on to another hotel that's owned by the same person. So, things may be looking up. I might have a job very, very, very soon. I pray to God that I do. Um, the first topic is going to be my talk with a good friend of mine. Her name is Raven. Um... <coughs> You know, I was talking about how I'm having difficulty with school and everything, and I want to take a break. But, you know, after thinking about it and talking with Raven, it's like, you know, where else would I be guaranteed a free, F-R-E-E, -E, education? There is no guarantee. And I will definitely say that, and that is definitely very, very true. Um, plus, my mom, you know, she's been sacrificing things for me her whole life. She had me when she was 13. So, that's another big thing. Like, you know, why would I want to hurt my mom? Because she signed her GI Bill over to me so that I can go to school. I think that would be very, very messed up to do so I'm going to continue school and finish so that I can keep moving forward um, you know I, I have been acting as if I'm a kid you know especially with school not putting as much time as I should into school um, you know and I'm I'm tired of I'm tired of you know being considered a baby a little boy because I'm not I'm 21 years old I'm going to be 22 this year I have got to get it together um next <clears throat> um the next person that I talked to about it was someone that's been a father figure to me since I was born His name is Terrell um. We talked about it, and he was saying that, well, you know, if you're not happy, you know, if you if you want to go to a different school, you can, because you have quite a few places to go where you can be living with a family member or something like that and continue going to school. And once again, my thought was like, well, I don't know if I want to do that, because my mom would be furious, because she's given up things for me all her life and for me to take it for granted that is not something that I want to show her <coughs> which reminds me of a quote that she said you know a couple months ago and I, w I wasn't feeling too confident that I was going to do good and she was like well I know you're going to do good she texted me and said I know you're going to do well. I know you're going to do good. And I was like, what are you talking about, Mom? It's like, I know you're going to do good. And that really that really touched me because, you know, my mom is not the congratulating type. You know, not the, oh, well, you did good. That's great type. She's just, oh, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Well, at least that's how she was for me and my siblings. Get a different mom. I don't know if this is my mom or not, but... <laughs> She she's not the congratulating type, um, but yeah, I, I was like, I want to make sure those words stay true. I don't ever want to make those words false. Um, as you all know, um, 
my girlfriend posted responses to my video I guess we you know she gave me the idea to start a video blog a long time ago and I was like well you know why don't I start it and lo and behold blam she has responses you know they were they were pretty good I can definitely say that um, there was some in misinformation here and there and I told her that on the phone so I'm hoping this doesn't offend her but there was some misinformation here and there but they're fairly good videos. She um, posted them from her iPhone. It was like three videos. Very lengthy. And of course, like a stalker, I sat waiting for the next part to be uploaded. And um, I talked to her about them today. They weren't bad. You know, she was just telling of the whole situation and giving her response. One thing that really did hurt me, though, was she said there's a 1% chance that she'd give me a second chance um and yeah that kinda that kinda hit me like wow one percent that's uh yeah yeah <laughs> um my next topic is uh my conversation with my girlfriend today it's pretty good as i said at the beginning there was a breakthrough but I promised I wouldn't tell about everything. I'll just say that she's hard. <laughs> I'm going to keep it at that. She's hard. She's hard. She's from Cleveland. Cleveland Heights. She hard. But uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, you know, I've been I've been having a pretty good day today. You know, I got the the phone call about the interview. Um, I got a, um, I, w I went and turned out, I mean, turned in some more applications and everything, cut my hair, you know, I look better than yesterday, um, had mom's homemade hot wings and everything, I wish she was, I wish Keisha was here to enjoy that with us, because I don't think she's ever been to the house with mom's made hot wings, and they are great. My aunt likes to call them butt burners because my mom usually makes like three or four different styles of hot wings and everything. You know, some regular, some barbecue, some hot, and then, you know, just ridiculously hot, which is the butt burners. <clears throat> but, um, you know, I, 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 I felt like, you know, I really wish she was here, so I gave her a call. And that's when we had our breakthrough conversation. As I said, I promise not to share much, but to say that she's hard. But, um, yeah, my day has been pretty good, as I said, you know. Um, I'll keep you all updated. I'll continue to have videos. I'll continue to just talk about my life. Oh, one last thing. I wrote another note today, and a lot of people were checking it out. A lot of people, you know, read that one note and then went through the rest of my notes and liked a lot of them on Facebook and, you know, <clears throat> they all was like, you know, you're you are gonna be an amazing person. You are <laughs> please don't ever forget that you are great. You are amazing. And it really it really touches me when people tell me that because I've gotten it all my life. Fr even from when I was a little kid. Even last night talking to Raven, she was like, you know, it must be true. <laughs> you are going to be a great man a great man and you know when when people say stuff like that it really hits me and it makes me feel like you know <sighs> when am i going to get there right now i really feel like i'm at ground zero rock bottom below the earth i don't know like <sighs> i'm having so much difficulty right now but please just pray for me and keep me uplifted if you got some encouraging words for me I would greatly appreciate it. Um, this is the end of my day two video of my video blog. I love you all. Thank you. Follow me on Twitter or hit me up on Facebook. Mori Forte. Either one. Um, I'm signing off. <laughs>